And the next stage is hooking up customers. How do we decide who's going to get connected? Well, that's where this canvas comes in. Uh, in those fiber to the home areas, there will be people knocking on every single door. The ambassadors will be out there calling on, and if you're not home the first time, they're going to come back again and again and again. Sooner or later, they may give up if you're not home six times, but they're going to try you different times of the day. They're going to try you different days of the week. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to talk to you. And they're going to say, well, do you want this service or not? And if you say yes, that opens up a whole lot of more questions. If you say yes, they're going to say, all right, where do you want us to bury the fiber? Do you want us to come in the front of your house? Do you want to come in the back of the house? What else do you have already buried in your yard? Do you have a sewer? Do you have a gas main? Do you have a telephone line? You got a power line? You got a street light out front? There's lots of questions they're going to ask in order so that when they do put it in, they don't destroy something that's already there, or at least hopefully don't do that. Do you have a basement? Do you have a crawl space? Is your house built on a slab? All those things affect how the fiber gets installed into the home, and those are all things that canvases are going to ask you about. Where in the house do you want to put this? You know, this little ONT, uh, ultimately, we'll talk about this in a minute, but your computer plugs into this, your TV plugs into this, your phone could plug into this. Where do you want this to sit? If you have a basement, you might want to put it in the basement. If you just have a single computer in your house and it's in your bedroom, you may want to put this in your bedroom. So they're going to, look, they're going to have an, a map like this that shows your property, and they're going to want to go and say, well, all right, do you want the ONT to be up here? Do you want it to be way back here? because when the installers come, they're going to need to know all that so they can plan and figure out where it is that needs to go. Uh, and this is what goes into your home. As I mentioned the ONT, the cable that comes in from the street connects into this little tiny box. It goes into the back of this box, this box mounts on the wall, and then the cable runs from here to this, and that's kind of it. Uh, so there's not a whole lot you see in the house other than those two particular things. Um, most likely the cable, the fibers themselves are going to be in your crawl space, they're going to be in your basement. If you don't have a crawl space or a basement, we'll figure out something else. 